Hey everyone, let's do this. I'm as excited as you are. Like really, I am. I'm, I'm that excited today. Um, I don't know what's going on with my hair. It's a new conditioner. I almost got a Donald Trump thing going on here, which is ironic because I was just getting ready to announce my candidacy for president. Uh, my, my candidacy for my can. How do you even say that? Obviously, that's why I'm not a presidential candidate. Because that's um, that's called me struggling with something pretty basic. But uh, okay, we are going to get started here today. And uh, those of you who are not already following me on Twitter, you can do so now. Lots of usernames coming my way today. A lot of people pretty excited, and we're gonna we're gonna make today epic. You know why? Because I've been getting a lot of work done. I worked till probably like 10 p.m. last night for Chess.com. You know, for the man. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy myself today. We're looking at at least 60 minutes here. Who knows? Maybe 90. I don't know. Maybe we'll play all night. Okay, I'll play it all night. I'll play it all night. All right. You know what I'm talking about? Here we go, Billy Joe. Here we go. I'm uh, trying to decide who to take on first. Dude with a queen. He tweeted at me his username. That's awesome. Dude with fork pin skewer. Um, Kuteva. You guys, you guys are just out of control. So let's just go ahead and just jump right in and play Lamenture Wenchen. Lamenture Wenchen. Thank you for the amount of consonants that you put in your name. Everybody's appreciative of that effort that you have made. Uh, I'm going to play this weirdness, weird weirdness here. That's what I'm going to do. My weird Verisoft is sometimes the best I can think to do when I'm when I'm in a magical mood. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know, heaven believe it's not so. It's magic. You know, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack him on the uh, on a D file, right? Take control of the open file. Always wanted to do such things. All right, take it. Then we're gonna take. Oh, that's a queen, dude. You were doing so good, and then you blundered it all away. All your dreams came crashing down, man. Sorry. All right, it was probably me singing the magic song that I know distracts me too every time. Every time someone busts out an oh, 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 it's magic, I just get giddy inside. All right. He resigned. Let's back up and take a quick peek because my Verisoft, I think, is no bueno to play F3 against the E6 line. Yeah, you got to play E3. Um, and after F3, C5, I think that... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, funny tweet just came at me. Someone referring to himself in the third person. Um, C5 is definitely good. Another interesting thing to uh, to try... No, no, C5 is right, and after takes E4... Um, one interesting thing to, to look to, to shoot at, at white is the move queen to b6, which not only creates the threat of bishop f2 with the battery, but also hits the b2 pawn. Um, often knight a4 is something to watch out for, uh, because even moves like queen a5 or queen b4 can be met by c3, and I'm actually guarding the knight and still gaining a tempo on the bishop. But I just get the feeling like white should just be busted here. I mean, if, if you even take on, on g1... Removing the bishop and then either gobble the e4 pawn or, uh, oops, I gotta stop following Ginger, GM, and Joey who are, they're going at it over there. There's some, there's some bad blood there. Don't you kid yourself. You got GM Jody who, you know what, one of the things he does best is getting under people's skin. I'll say that on the record. You can quote it. Go ahead. Mark it down. Um, and, uh, Simon is, Simon is wanting to get a piece of that. Um, and either either b5 or even just gobbling the e4 pawn. So, but from a principal perspective, which is the thing you want to focus on when you're analyzing your games, not just the specific mistake you made in that game, but uh, where where maybe your your overall approach was wrong. If there was something fundamentally that you misunderstood about the position, always strive to pull out those sort of things because that's how what that's how your approach is really going to get better. Um, but uh, the from a principal perspective, the point is that the Verisoft is often punished when black looks for those early queen side uh, dark square options. So c5 is the right idea, which is why I need to play e3 and, and be just a little bit more traditional in my development if black plays e6. Um, but, uh, but just looking for ways to try to make tactics like this work will often be beneficial for black. And the other move that you could maybe consider is also bishop to b4. 
um, followed by C5. Another thing to think about. So, okay, we're going to take on the uh, the next comer, the next tweeter, if I can find the next tweeter. There's so many, so many of you tweeters coming at me right now. Uh, let's go ahead and take on Blue Squid. Blue Squid 2001, welcome to the fun. Welcome to the fun, Blue Squid 2001. Maybe that's the uh, something to do with Space Odyssey. Let's see. I'm going to go for the dragon here, as I do in many of my Blitz free-for-alls these days. doesn't get any more fun than this, right? And uh, especially when you're, just, when you're just in the mood to play chess and hum songs to yourself. I think Greg Shahad is, was born in that mood, to play chess and hum songs to himself. You know, but if I... If I thought I had a better singing voice, I'd sing more often in these shows. But you know, I care about you. Okay, that's that's uh, in my my respect for you. That even though what I'd like to do is just turn on some tunes, zone out, play blitz chess for a few hours, and just hum some songs to myself. I don't do that for you. Instead, we tr we provide hopefully something educational. There is something nasty about to happen here on the dark squares for white. Um. Okay, well now I'm going to take on B2 with Chekaruski. Then we take this guy with Chekaruski. Then we give a little check here so that we can take the bishop with check. A tempo in a mating attack is like a, um, you know, it's like a, um, I don't know. It, it's like a, a chocolate dip when you're eating strawberries. You always want to gain tempos, Okay. The main problem here for white is that you can't allow black to get the f5 and e4 advance without without there being dire consequences. Okay, so queen e1, the main lines are both e6 and, and knight takes d4, but rook to b8 is like a flexible way to to gain some tension, and the rook is almost always having having good relations with this bishop over here at some point. So you know, in a blitz in a blitz game, it's an easy intuitive move to play. Um, and knight takes c6 is probably not the way to follow it up, but honestly, the queen e1 line itself is probably not the uh, the best approach for white these days, and I'm already happy with black's position here. Um, you can take the exchange, but as everybody knows who plays the dragon, this is a typical sacrifice, right? The dark square bishop is just as valuable as this rook for the next 20 moves, if not more valuable, and, and by that time, black hopes, hopes to win in the attack anyway. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. How are we all doing, by the way? You guys excited? Okay, this is going to be a little while. We're going to learn something today. You're going to learn something, all right? Put away the judgments. Why don't you pack up the judgments on the top shelf, okay, and walk away from them for a while. And just play some chess. And watch and learn some chess. That's what I think you should do. So, all right. Let's do it. Next next person, Swordfish10. Let's do it, man. Hey, little Hollywood, you're gone, but you're not forgotten. Got the cash, but your credit's no good. You flipped the script and shot the plot. Now I remember, I remember when your neon used to burn. Where's he going? So bright and pink. So, All right, we're going. We're going for the bullet simul. A Saturday night, kind of pink. Hey, little Hollywood, you're gone, but you're not forgot. You got the oh, he he he, uh, he walked away. Swordfish, swordfish walked away, and that's cool. No worries. I'm still gonna play for d5, even with bishop on e2 instead of f3, because the principle that White allowed d5 by either not retreating the knight or putting the bishop on c4 is still what Black often wants to do to try to take advantage of these. Um, of these kind of dragons. D5 is just the most principled way for black to, to equalize in the center and uh, open up as many lines as white has. So some misplayed dragons today, unfortunately, by my opponents, and we're just going to keep on moving on. We're going to keep the truck and moving on, and I'm going to take on Ed Vetter, who called me out on Twitter and referred to himself in the third person. Hey, that's narcissism, right? <laughs> No kidding. I refer to myself in the third person on a regular basis. Then again, I always have been pretty self-consumed. I've worked on it. My wife has really beaten the self-consumption out of me, you know, because it's like, hey, either make your marriage work or uh, or or go live the life of a self-consumed, overgrown child. 
as most men do extend their childhood till their mid-30s. Let's be honest. Anyway, but that's life. Ed Vedder, I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna crush you with the sandwich that I am eating here. You're right, I do have a sandwich, and you didn't even know that. It's actually a turkey and mayo sandwich. Pro tip. Pro, actually, no, turkey mustard. Sorry, the pro tip was never put mayo on turkey. Never do it, all right? You do not want the turkey with the mayo. I'm going to use the F file to make something magical happen right over here on F7, right? Oh, he's just going to give it to me, love. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to get my knight back in the game first. Because it feels like the knight might get lonely out there, things might get awkward. Maybe he does something weird because he's all alone. You know, we don't want that. Let's do it. Boom. Loving that. Shake and bake. Too many pawns, not enough support, buddy. Too many pawns, not enough support. Too little time. And uh, and that's it. That's how that's how the West was won right there. So there you go. Hmm. <laughs> hey, little Hollywood. You're gone, but you're not forgotten. Got them. All right. We'll talk a little bit about this one, because knowing what to do against the Trumpowski, it should be on every player's blitz list. You want to know what to do against the Trumpowski. What am I doing here? I guess I'm just basically joshing around, considering that I have very little time left. He also has very little time, of course, but... But I uh, almost lost sight of things there. Okay. And it continues. The fun continues here. Uh, I hope everybody is uh, enjoying the show. Something a little bit wrong with the uh, the move counter here. I know that I hope that everybody can hear and see me. Or are we uh, are we having some tech difficulties here? No, I don't think so. I think we're doing all right. All right, let's keep going. Ed Vetter, what were you supposed to do against the Trumpowski? Um, G6 is fine, but typically you uh, you have to be careful, of course, where you're putting your pieces in the center with this bishop having early early uh, early sights on the queen side. Lots of tacticos. Uh, D6 is good, and I think one of the flexible ways for black to approach the position is actually with a setup that goes like this, d6, c6, you play f5, which not only opens your bishop, but strengthens your control over e4, and then this knight comes around to f6, and after the rook comes to e8, you can bring that pony into e4. Uh, the thing about the c6, d6 structure is it's very flexible. d5 can be met by c5, and then you've got a chain here, which with the eye of the bishop is... Uh, putting some good pressure on the, on black's queenside dark squares. And if I don't play for d5 and gain a space advantage, which is what I'm going to do, at some point you can consider playing d5 yourself, which with all three pawns and this pawn facing e4, that might give you a good chance to put the knight here. Honestly, white has a little bit of an edge in the uh, basic 2g6 Trumpowskis, probably not the most challenging way to play against it. And the Trumpowski is a blitz. It's a bliss weapon, all right? It's played in a lot of rapid games. So if you're out there wondering what exactly is this, then, uh, then uh, you know, you might want to take the time to, to look into that. So, all right. Let's continue. Um, I'm going to take on the next, the next challenger who tweeted at me. Follow me on Twitter. Tweet me your username. And let's, uh, let's play in the Bullet Brawl. Fork, Pin, Skewer, welcome. Thanks for tweeting us what you're all about. I know you're all about the tweets, right? All about the tweets, about the tweets. No Facebook. I'm all about the tweets, about the tweets. No Facebook. I'm blundering my opening, blundering my opening. I'm all about the tweets, about the tweets. No Facebook. I hate my friends' Facebook posts. They think they understand politics <laughs> and everybody there is a bit loony all right I, I gotta focus i don't know i'm trying to think of rhymes that make sense but all right he gave it to me gave me the game with that blunder there unfortunately 
Yeah, we're okay. We'll go ahead and let him get the two pieces for the rook and blow open the queen side if that's okay with him. That's a that's a clearance sacrifice. You move the bishop out of the way of the queen because the queen is a more effective checker on a6. First what you do is you recognize the weakness on the king the uh, near the king's position after c6 and and then rather than giving this impulsive check you recognize you want the queen there, so you remove the bishop with tempo. My first consideration was bishop h5, which would have worked as well to just sack and then attack. But um, bishop g4 check is actually even more forcing. And that's mating patterns. That's mating patterns for everyone at home. All right, let's take on Mr. Why Green 95. Why go green? All right, we're going to get another dragon. Let's see if we can get somebody to play the dragon correctly. No, we're not. We're not going to get another dragon. Not going to get another dragon. We're going to get an early advance of the center, e5, which um, usually white wants to play things like bishop b5 first in order to, to go for these lines, although I did just blunder that pawn, huh? But okay, I probably actually still have a pretty decent position given the time that white lost with the knight. <coughs> All right, I'm going to back up, we'll take and bake, and uh, get castled next. Oh, I thought he should probably take with the queen and then play rook to d1. Not sure what I was going to do there. But now we will play some simple improving moves in the center. We're going to try to target this isolated pawn if we can. And if he allows tactics over there on h2 we always have our eye on these two bishops right the the lasker bishops is that what they're called the lasker sacrifice was it lasker i don't even remember i've never been good you know at chess all right he plays queen of three which is the best thing because after takes he gets this bishop but i think i still win a piece don't i i think i can still win a piece he does have rook c1 in the end which um is going to win back the bishop and indeed that actually works, huh? Hmm, I guess I messed that up. I guess I messed that up. In fact, I thought I was winning more, which if I wasn't, then I probably should have done something different. We're going to back up and take a quick peek at that. Now we'll go ahead and double the pawns and grab the C file. All right, then that's a bishop. And that's mate and bake. All right, let's back up and take a look at that. A little bit instructive after my opening blunder. So we have a Sicilian, and uh, early e5 is is probably not not the best. Um, okay, one of the one of the tricks to this the the whole point behind this c3 type of Sicilians is alipin idea is to get d4 and then take back with a pawn, which leaves two pawns in the center. Two pawns are better than one. Black is not actually threatening to take the pawn, of course. So if you don't know this line, then just bishop e2 is a very typical move here because knight takes e4, walks into the the common double attack trick, and, and white wins the knight. So um, so d3 is, is typical. You can even play g3 and go into like a king's Indian attack and then play d3 in a couple moves once you no longer have that trick coming. Uh, but but e5 immediately, though though playable, is... The opening of the center that early, when white really has no advantage in development, can't really be justified. I mean, I play I play knight to d7, and, uh, you know, um, either you're trading and helping more pieces get developed, or you're backing up, and then I'm gaining this tempo here, which may not have been the best. Maybe best is just to, you know, play typical stuff in the center, but I was, I was a little excited. You know how I get on bullet brawls. You know, the juices start flowing. You know, that's all. Maybe I get a little too aggressive. So, um, so b5, uh, knight to e3, maybe I need to take some time to play a6 and defend this guy first. But even, even with what happened, you know, black has some compensation. And what white needs to focus on after winning that pawn is kind of what he did. d4 was good, but, but queen takes was likely better. 
if you don't have something tactically strong uh, with Rook D1, I mean, I can just move my knight, but even even an endgame might be favorable for you up a pawn, right? How else am I supposed to deal with the knight? You know, like if I go here, I was just thinking that... Actually, you have to be a little careful. Your bishop does guard D1, though. So, and it, you know, if you start developing, you're up a pawn. Probably doing better than me. Probably. Black has some compensation for the lead in development, but even after C takes, you know, your priority needs to be trading minor pieces when you're up a pawn here. Going to make it easier for you to convert on this two-on-one advantage, and also, the, you know, my minor pieces are in pretty good squares, so this isn't a typical isolated pawn where white wants to keep the minor pieces. This is a, this is a position where you want to trade the minor pieces and, uh, you know, just convert your extra pawn advantage, so... As you allowed the tension to stay on the board, eventually you, you kind of walk into a blunder, but but really the time was also a big factor. So good stuff. Good stuff from Y Green. Let's take on the next the next big comer here. We have the young talent, Seahawks fan, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, and let's take a peek. Let's take a peek at what Seahawks fan one, two, three, four, five is all about. I see you. Uh, Elise uh, Gare, who just tweeted at me your username. You know what? We'll go with the bullet simul, even with a 2100 on the plate. What? Is he crazy? Is he crazy? Yes, he's crazy. That's what these are about. It's crab cakes and football. That's what Maryland does. Boom. We're playing a bullet simul. We're, we're pre-moving like a crazy shenaniganizer. We're pre-moving like a crazy shenaniganizer. Yeah, we are. We're playing a drag on. A dragon. All right. Okay, we're taking and we're baking. We're shaking. We're baking. We're going to put the knight on G. Oh, that's a piece. That's a piece. You know what I'm talking about? Those are the dark squares. My favorite color. My favorite color does tend to be the dark squares in most scenarios. But remember, bullet simuls are not for the faint of heart. Okay, they are not for the faint hearted. And uh, you have to, you know, you have to really bring it, bring it to play the bullet simul. Uh, I wanted to give check and then something nasty, but uh, he seems to be holding on temporarily. No checkmate. I thought I was mate and bacon. I thought it was Kevin Bacon, mate and bacon, you know. But not a lot of time here. What's he doing? He's going there? Really? All right, we'll check. And we'll take and we'll go there. Uh, oh, I wanted rook f8, but I don't have it. I have to be careful. I'm probably going to lose this one. I'm probably going to lose this one, honestly. I don't have enough time. Don't have enough time for both these games for anything. Oh, I just checkmated myself. But he didn't see it. All right. Still not quite enough time to commit the crime. Whoa. Walking into checkmate. That's what I'm talking about. Did I just do this? Did I just do this thing? Boom! Boom! Look at that! That's a bullet simul victory! I attacked for the dark squares and I won on the dark squares. You know? But, uh... Is there... Is, it, is the stream super laggy? You guys on Twitch are telling me that? Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, it seems to be. You know what? I'm going to try to reconnect to a better server. Everybody else, don't go anywhere for a while. Go get a Snickers. And uh, Seahawks fan 12345, you obviously gave it to me, buddy. A little bit nervous. I get it. Um, and uh, Alice Gare, you know, this one was probably winning from the start. But um, but you had your chances with the bullet simul. I was nervous there, for sure. But okay, we're going we're gonna to pause the live show and rebroadcast to a better server. So Twitch's servers were a little slow today. I'm going to try to establish a little bit of a stronger connection. So don't go anywhere, okay? Don't go anywhere. Broadcasted, we're refreshed. 
hopefully we stay fresh and clean. Today's Bulla brought to you by Great Value Water, the cheapest, most disgustingly tasting plastic water on the planet that I do enjoy. All right, what happened here? Seriously, I played a bullet simul, and it wasn't instructive at all. It was wild. I feel like Michael Jordan and his, you know, gambling problems after he retired. Like, I'm that, I'm that guy who retired from professional chess who has to play a bullet simul in order to get his thrills. You know, like betting $100,000 on a golf shot. That's me right now. I'm struggling with um, with issues. Um, so this was a dragon, and bishop e2 again is fine, but I want to talk about something that's principled in this position because it, we've seen several people make this mistake today. If you're not going to develop the light score bishop to c4, whether it's a Yugoslav attack or, or some other kind of classical dragon, you have to prevent d5 another way. The most common way to do it is to retreat this knight to b3 and open up the queen. Um, so that you're guarding, so that you're guarding this this advance. That's the most common way to do it. Uh, and and with the classical being played, you know, after Bishop G7, I think uh, just castles is best. And after I castle, now the time is Knight to B3. The reason why F3 isn't very good in a classical dragon is because the main point of F3 most of the time is to extend G4 and then H4 and H5 and Yugoslav attack. So. You know, playing f3, the best way to, to point out why it's bad is because all you're going to want to do later is play f4, uh, you know, to either increase pressure here or to have the ideas of f5, sort of typical. And anyway, so knight to b3 is your best move. You played for f3. I didn't even go for d5 immediately. I was kind of in my, my crazy zone with the simul, but that's just the principled thing to understand that f3 is not a very useful move against these Sicilians if you're not playing the castle's long lines with the attack on the, queen, on the king side. So that's just a quick tip, as well as keeping an eye on preventing d5. Um, in the Seahawks fan game, okay, I think my attack was good. So I'm going to go there and see. I, I think my sacrifice was Fun Town. Okay. This position is just better for black. I mean, I'm establishing really lots of great attacking chance on the dark squares. Probably taking on, um, on e4 is a mistake because it's unnecessary. Again, the bullet brawl simul was kind of getting to me. Just developing things like knight to d6 or, or knight f6. Because the trade of these knights is only going to open up more diagonals and lines into white's position. So taking e4 was probably not the best, but still, I like I like my chances. Even with this exchange sack. Uh, the only question is whether this is unnecessary. I mean, it's possible I should just take on f8. And, okay, like he plays here and... I don't know. Maybe I have to back up, actually. And maybe he can go. So maybe, maybe this is a little bit trickier than I thought because I'm having trouble guarding the pawn. So it was like pot committed. I might have been pot committed here to just play bishop e5 and, and go all in, right? Queen h2 check, king f1. But but now I, I really don't have anything. He played knight e6. Likely the best thing for me was, was not to go for here and let him give up the rook for the knight, but to bring another piece into the attack. Um... You know, with ideas like if he goes here, you want to play moves that keep the pressure, threats of e2 check. If I can win the knight and only be down the exchange, okay, certainly only being down the exchange and having a pawn on e3 is more than enough, whether I checkmate him on the dark squares or not. But I, I kind of played this fast move here, which this is a very typical way to defend positions. When your opponent's on a mating attack and you're up a significant amount of material, don't be afraid to part with some material. Just give it right back so that you can coordinate the rest of your pieces. So what Seahawks fan did here is exactly what he should have done. And, and this position was, was really winning for White, you know, without, without uh, much argument to it. Um, you know, he moved and I moved and what happened? So we went for like something, I think I, you know, played something crazy. and Or no, I played like Queen here and he forgot he was checkmating me. So then I played here and he played here. And then I went here and he, and he blundered into mate. So, you know, we were obviously both around 10 seconds. I wasn't in a position to take care of uh, the other player yet, so I wasn't able to focus on this one. Likely, I would have lost on time shortly, but hey, we'll take the generosity, right? And uh, and and the rating points with it. I'm almost 2,600 at bullet. What is wrong with me? I'm playing high-quality chess. Somebody, somebody... Uh... Somebody check what's going on here. I'm playing high-quality chess, and we're not exactly sure. We're not exactly sure why. 
So, all right, I know we've got a lot more people tweeting, a lot of people jumping in and uh, wanting to get in on this. I'm going to try to get to all the usernames I can. Thank you. Uh, um, and uh, thank you for jumping in, tweeting. I know lots of questions. Can't get to everything right now during the live show, but let's let's keep going. We're only a half an hour in, and we haven't even really had any uh, interesting battles yet against some of the title players who may want to jump in. So um, I'm going to take on our next challenger here and see how much fun we can keep having. <laughs> Somebody just said I was 2591 because I play a lot of 1300 players. Um, pro tip, buddy, you don't even gain any rating points for those. I gained zero for that, all right? So, so I love the guys that just sit there and love to poke fun and find their best way to throw an insult at the at the uh, broadcaster while he's not paying attention. But you actually don't know what you're talking about, so that's fun. Um, anyway, but uh, no, I haven't been gaining any 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 rating points. No, you don't gain one point at a time even for a 1,300. You gain zero. I gain one point for beating this 1,800, assuming I'm able to do it. But you don't gain any rating points for people lower than lower than... A certain amount of points so but okay we're gonna we're gonna take on some strong players here in a moment because that's what we're all about that's what we're all about you know we're no longer all about bringing the troops home believe it or not we're actually all about gaining rating points and playing stronger players i want to take on h3 but he has c4 ugh i wanted to go to sack town and go get the F3 knight, but I couldn't do it. So I'm going to try to organize E4. Yeah, I'm losing the bishop pair. Not a happy position for me, honestly. I need to find a way to... Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to try to simplify the position just a little bit. Uh, Offer the queen trade, I guess. See if he likes it. No, he doesn't. He wants to keep pieces on the board. Well, I don't blame him. I don't blame him, but I like my knight on e4, e5, excuse me. And, ooh, wait a second. Can he do that? Oh, I should have played knight d3. What am I doing? Ah! I should have played knight d3. That would have been a winning, yeah? And then we take, shake and bake, see if we can gobble up the g4 pawn safely. Uh, we can actually take there safely, which is fun town. Population us. Make a couple pre-moves. Make sure that everybody stays up on time. Oops, that's a rook, but unfortunately for him, it's not going to be enough. Because the time advantage is uh, the, uh, the, the, the second time. I don't read Twitch, but I only call out you, buddy, because you normally only have negative things to say. Did you, did you not see what just happened there? I gained zero rating points for that win against an 1800 player. So you're welcome for being wrong. And I hope you feel bad. I really do. I hope you do. I, because I want you to grow as a human being. That, and you can really only grow unless, you know, by, by looking inward at, at yourself. You know. Okay, here we go. So let's play Kirkwood. Ooh, a staff member. I forgot Kirkwood was a staff member. <laughs> I should know that. Hey, Matt, how you doing, buddy? Jumping right into the bull of brawl, you say, huh? But uh, anyway... Matt is uh, losing sight, losing sight of things. You want me to put stack guy on a task? I don't have anything to look up today. I got nothing to look up. Nothing to look up, man. No stats. Right now, we're just here to have fun. All right, the dragon. I feel like we're getting a lot of instruction in. In fact, I feel like we are. We're getting a lot of instruction in. At some point here, we're going to have to take on some title players, and I'm going to go looking for some battles so I can actually gain rating points instead of staying at 2591. But okay. Right now, we're trying to take on the tweeters, as we always promise we shall. And we thank everybody for following us on Twitter and challenging us, sending us the challenge so that we can we can all play together here as one big happy chess.com family. Okay, playing pre-moves, my favorito. Let's do it. Okay. Takes, takes. Come in. Trade. 
or win. We'll take it. We'll take the win. All right, let's look for another person sending us a tweet before we jump into some stronger player battles. Or we uh, or we can go back up and look at who's been waiting. Uh, Grandmaster Georg uh, Hovartian was challenging me earlier, but I wasn't ready to play the top GMs. I was focusing on the tweeters. But now we got some others. We got uh, we got Vache Legrov playing right now, but he's playing, so I doubt he's going to jump in. Let's see if we can get let's see if we can get some others who are interested interested in jumping in. Ooh, we got Danny Danny uh, Rabin. I've never played this guy. I don't know who he is, but I like his name. Hey, good name there, Danny. Good name there, bud. I'm gonna go Hikaru on this. I'm gonna go Hikaru on this and play a bad opening because it's bullet and see if I can make anything magical happen. Bad openings are not fun. They are not fun. Except when they are. Ooh, I'm playing 1-1. One, one. I didn't even realize it. Wait. What's going on? Whoa. Danny, I didn't even realize. I'm playing I'm playing C to tree in the I must have accidentally challenged two players at once. But um Whoa, that was a little weird. Now I have to be careful here. 1-1. One, one. I thought I was playing Danny uh, Raven this whole time, actually. Okay, this is this is now not looking so bueno. Um, Got to focus to get my way out of this one before I lose rating points. Focus, focus. Don't want to lose rating points. But it's a 1-1 one, one game. So having a bad position is... Uh, is not on the top of your list. Positions are even more important than the clock now. But okay, I think I can maybe try to hold a draw. I'm hoping. Hoping I can hold a draw. I'm bringing my knights out with the hopes that uh, that maybe they find some activity. You know, they find a home. A couple of horses running in the wild. Looking for a nice place to settle down. Couple of horses running in the wild. Yeah, I guess we have to allow that trade, huh? I don't see anything better. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't go for the immediate trade. A little bit surprised by that. I thought it made sense for black. But this is some real chess here. This is not uh this is not crazy flag you chess, right? No limit hold 'em. This is Play some decent quality chess moves. Chess. Uh, and right now, he's playing better quality chess moves than me, honestly. But I, I got off to a really bad start in this game. I started playing bad moves right from the out. Whoa! Sacrificing the piece. I think that was a little bit unnecessary by him. Unless he's just better here and I don't understand what's going on. I don't know that that was a necessary idea for him. That's all. Although I'm down on time, so I have to be careful not to get mated. Uh, can I take there? I don't quite know if what I'm doing is okay. Honestly. Um, go over here. He's going to give check. I understand that. Uh-oh. I didn't see that coming. Uh-oh. I'm lost. After fighting my way back, I'm going to resign. There goes rating points. All right, let's take them on again and see if we can get a better a better game from the uh, from the opening instead of a horrible position. I think I I think I had made a comeback there. What was I supposed to do? You know what I should be doing. 
Okay, I can... Oh my gosh, am I just mating him? Oh, I'm an idiot. You guys see the mate? I wasn't even paying attention. What? I was mating him with Rook A8 check in the 98. Ah! I made the comeback. I was winning. I got nervous. Okay, but we have 1-1 one, one chess going here, right? It is, yeah, it's 1-1 one, one again. So this time I'm going to be a little more aware of the scenario and try to play some higher quality moves. That's my goal of this game. Play slightly higher quality chess. See how that works out for me. Play some slightly higher quality chess. Who knows? Maybe we go to Home Depot if we have enough time. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond, you know. Busy little Saturday. Um, all right. I'm going to play Knight H5, even though I'm not exactly sure I'm going to take this uh, Rook on anyone. I don't think he saw this tactic coming, or I'm forking him with Knight to G3, and uh, and Bishop takes on, on A1. But I wasn't really planning on taking the Rook, so that was probably not the right idea by him. Okay, that was a quick win. He's just down exchanges, and, and I'm going to see if I can pull off enough wins in a row to get my 25-91 back instead of losing with B3. All right, a Scotch Mises. You guys, like, hey, get the party started, right? Get the party started, right? Come on, kids. Jump up and down. Don't hurt yourself. Jump up and down. Um, what's going on here? What's going on here? Um, what's going on here? I think I've played this before. Just a few times. Just a few times we played this one here. And we go here. And now we play, uh, actually, no, I think this is the move. Yeah, should be good enough. We're going to play bishop e1. We'll go back and attack, play a little tickle here. Let him move. Ooh. I guess I can go there. That was kind of the whole point of bishop e1, is to get more protection on f2 so you can unpin it. And that's the problem, is that this looks very scary for black, but with accurate moves, this line is actually just losing for black. FYI. And now it looks like he's lost his queen. I guess he could take on f2, or he could have. Um, I don't see what his threat is, so I'm going to advance this ape on. See if I can go get a queen. Uh, go get the b pawn. Okay, but now if he's if he's blocking the bishop, I don't know. I was thinking I should have something there. No, maybe I don't. Pick up one pawn at a time. Uh, one pawn at a time. That's how we do this today. Try to get a queen. I don't know because it seems like a good idea. Lots of material here. Lots of material. I, I probably should just play queen to b7, but decided I will take my time instead. Decided that I will take my time, decidedly so. And go get the win the old-fashioned way. You know, by using all your pieces. The way that they taught us to play. Some principled chess. <laughs> Alright, you gonna you gonna play again? You gotta play best of five, buddy. You gotta play best of five, man. Don't go anywhere. This is when things get exciting. 
Oh, the two-year-old just woke up from a nap. That means that after after getting the, the quick win in B3, he's not going to let me get back to 2591. But it's okay. We'll go find somebody else. Go take care of the two-year-old, buddy. Hey, I'm a dad. I get it. You know, we've all looked for opportunities to neglect our children while we, uh, while we play chess online, let's be honest. Don't accept. We have uh, we have a Yarosovich, another national master, another very good bullet player national master. So I better be careful. We're gonna play a dragon for funsies. It is one one. Remember, kids, that means high quality chess moves are first and foremost on the list, or at least they should be. All right, we play the main line against early g4. I don't remember this line where he plays h4 and h5 without uh, without castling, honestly. I actually... Should I take with the h-pawn? Can I get away with it? I'd like to. I'm going to take with the h-pawn and see if I can get away with it. Um, it seems risky, right? If I play b5, though... Where's he putting the king? I have some time, so I'm going to take it. Where's he putting his king? I don't know. There's also ideas of taking on e4 with check. I'm going to play b5. I think tactically this is tricky. Um, this is tactically a little tricky here. I'm going to take, play a6, and go here. This was my idea. Oh, I'm losing the exchange. So, Okay, well, it was a good idea. Good tactics, just uh, Q essence error. You know what that means? That means I, I didn't look far enough into the future. I stopped my calculation a moment too soon, which is a very typical mistake. I do have a pawn. No, I don't even have a pawn for the exchange, so that sucks. So I'm going to lose this one. Whoa. Is that necessary for him? I don't know. He decides he'd rather play that position than one where I have the two bishops. It's interesting, actually. An interesting decision. It is an interesting decision. Play g5. With my intention being that um, that I kind of want to stop his pawn chain over there. Oh, interesting. Is there something I'm missing? I'm not sure. Oh, I don't have much time. What am I thinking? Move faster. That's what I need to do. I don't have a lot of time here. Definitely don't have a lot of time here. I don't have enough time here. That's the thing. Really, really don't. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Hmm. He's going to get two queens. All right, well, that was a battle, at least, before he wins. At least I made it interesting, because I felt like I was losing there for a while. So, okay, let's play again. Let's play again, shall we? We'll play this E4 game. Oh, he wants it. He wants the scotch. I want to get to 2600 today on today's World Brawl. I want to do something epic. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of going up the down staircase. I'm tired. I'm tired of going up the down staircase in life. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? And that's what we're going to do. This is epic. If you're not subscribing to us on Twitch right now, then you're dead inside. 
because this is exciting stuff and you have nothing else to do besides subscribe to us right now because you're watching so make sure that you do that um that was frustrating but i'm not giving up i feel like i am the better player here and i'm going to play like it and i feel like i should have even made a comeback in that game and so it's tough to lose those games when you lose so many rating points because when you're up like 150 points to start in a battle, I mean, you lose a lot of points for every loss. So you got to be ready to play your A-game chess or don't don't come, right? Either bring it or don't or don't come to the party. That is the truth. Now I'm going to castle. I thought about playing king of two there, but I'm just going to castle. This is not a good one for him. Not a good one. Um, should I play g3? Uh, should I leave the pieces confused? I don't know. No, let's play here. Okay. Now perhaps we'll go here. We'll push. Go get the big center. Go get it. Go get that big center. Uh, take and sack the exchange? No. Don't be silly. Actually, maybe. Maybe I need to, in fact. No, I don't want to. I'm just going to go there and blunder. Blunder away. I'm blundering away my advantage in this one. blundering away the advantage right now. Whoa, that's a pawn. He's going to give check. Oops, that's a piece. What am I doing? Ugh. I'm blundering away chess moves right now. And it's really not fun. Oh, that was frustrating. Just blew that one. I blew that one big time. Hmm. Frustrated again. Frustrated again. I want more. I want 2600. That's what I want. And, uh, I want it all. He switches to d4. Makes sense. He doesn't want any more of the dragon. I get it. All right, we'll play this one. We will play this one and do the weirdness. Probably just a better position for white in these Nimzo Indians, honestly. Just a better position for white in these Nimzos. 
with the bishop pair. But we're looking to open up some tactics here. Open up and look for some tactics. Huh. Okay. I guess so. I guess I have to be a little careful now. I didn't see that move. I was looking for me being aggressive against his king side, but I did not actually see that move. Hmm. I don't know that that's the best for him. I'm going to give this check now and go here. Happily simplify one of those bishops off the board if he lets me. Happily do it. We'll go here. Bring the knight out. Check. Knight in, yeah. This looks like the fun way to play this one. Expecting him to take it, but I kept the queen on the sixth rank. That was kind of my point. All right, we'll give check at least once. Grab the C file. Check again. Play H5. Can I come down? Should I play there? I think I can. Now I'm going to give this check. Now his rook doesn't have the D file. That's kind of my point. That was my hopeful point. Not sure that it does a ton of good. Ooh, that was a mistake by him. For sure. Now I'm going to push. Push it all. No way to stop the pawns, man. No way to stop the pawns. Yeah. Yeah, we get our first win. Our first well-played game of this match, at least start to finish anyway. So let's continue continue the march to 2600 on what will be an epic bull of brawl. Will Danny get it? Will he fail in front of everybody and have everybody on Twitch be making fun of him? I think either way people are excited, right? Either way people feel good about that whole, you know, scenario. So that's good. Oh, okay. G6. Get castled. Positionally, just a little bit better. That's all we have to this position. No other real advantage right now. Just a small positional edge. Whoa. Huh. I guess we didn't exactly see that coming. Did we? No, we did not. Hmm. 
Hmm. Be a little bit patient in developing this attack. That's my goal anyway. Oh, wait a second. Do I not have some sort of discovered check in winning? No discovered check that wins, huh? That's disappointing. I thought there would be more. We're just going to go attack the bishop. Wait a second. Can he do that? Play a simple move, I guess. And go win the bishop. Play a simple move and go win the bishop. All right. The march continues. The march continues. Maybe he wants another dragon. No, he doesn't. He wants an alipin. Okay. Those are always fun. Always a fun, fun time. These alipins. Trying to put a piece on b3. That's my idea. Not sure how good it is. I feel like it might make a little sense. So that's what I'm going to go try and do. Maybe play c4, maybe play queen to c7. And, uh, ooh, wait. I'll go there. I'm okay with that, actually. I'm okay with that trade. Isn't his e4 pawn hanging? I hope so. I hope it's hanging, because I just took it. Uh-oh. Apparently it wasn't hanging. Apparently it wasn't hanging at all. Is there no way to get out of this? Push here. Take, maybe. Ooh, but now I have this. I was trying to create counterplay. I think he messed that up. I think he should have just taken the piece. I'm going to guess. I want to put a piece on d3 now. All right, I will take that opportunity. And take this one. Oh, maybe I should have taken the other one, actually. Maybe I should have taken the other one, but let's see if we can simplify this one. Oh, that was maybe a nice move by him. Try to go get some other pawns. It's my best, my best chance right now, is to get some more pawns. Try to trade that guy. Oh, I had bishop here. And I'll take it on the second time. I will take it on my second chance. Fool me once. What's he doing? Is he actually mating me? Whoa, I didn't see any of this coming.
Got him. Got him. Got him. Does he want more? Come on, homie. Come on, you and I. You and I are locked in a battle for destiny right now. It's destiny. Ooh. Um, we play here. Will it be good? I haven't played chess where I put myself under pressure in a long time, you know? Self-imposed pressure. Do something weird. Trying to take advantage of this strange approach he took not to castle. Not sure about the decision for him. Okay, now I think I should probably just play a four. Maybe. Whoa, hold a tick. I thought maybe he was going to play h4. I think that might have been better, honestly. I guess I'll take. Making just some simple, short little moves, right? Now he's protected his knight over there, but the knight isn't that great of a piece, right? That's kind of the key point. Go there. Oh, wait, he could have taken my knight. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Neither did he. Oh, it's funny how that happens in chess games. Sometimes you have what's called mutual blindness, where you just both miss something that may or may not be a little bit obvious, in fact. It happens in games called mutual blindness. Go there. All right, we continue as our time ticks away. We make ourselves one step closer to the ultimate goal of today, reaching 2,600 for the first time in more than a year, right? At least win, lose, or draw, even if I don't get there. I proved that one guy wrong, that I only gain rating points by playing low-rated players. I'm just kidding, buddy. I love you. I'm not trying to pick on you. Just trying to point out that I have feelings. That's all. You can't just say things in Twitch chat and expect Danny not to have his feelings hurt. Okay? I'm actually very tough-skinned. been doing this for a long time. You know, you get a lot of people who don't like you very much. That's kind of coming with the territory. Kind of coming with the territory. Oops. Hmm, what was I doing there? Darn it, well that's going to be a loss. This game is going to be a loss, it seems. Going to take some epic moves to come back in this one. I just blundered that A5 pawn. Sorry, everybody. Here I am apologizing to you. It's my rating, my life, but that was weird. Did he just not realize I'm just going to take that? One blunder gets another. I will I will happily do that. Um, but the question is what to do now? Should I take d5? Should I take there first? Or should I give like a check and then go take on b2? I'm going to do that. I'm not sure it was any better than the other options, but I decided not to let him get the b pawn because I think what the rooks want in a lot of those scenarios is 
to get as many pawns passed as they can. That's usually how the rooks compete with the two miners. So I'm going to take here. This is a strange position. For sure it is a strange position. I should be better. For sure I should be better. But uh, but the game is young. Uh, we'll offer the queen trade. See if he wants it. I think he has to go for it, huh? Defend it? Ooh, but no, but then he's going to trick me. He has a trick. Hmm, I'm going to go for that, actually. Because it's not the simplest draw for him, in fact. It is not actually the simplest draw for him. Hmm. Probably I'm taking too much time here. Was I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna end up losing this game if I'm not careful. Darn it, he held a draw. Well, that was well played by him, because he uh, he was losing that game, for sure. So, he deserved the draw for holding on. Not not happy with my inability to win that endgame. Probably not the right decision to go for the uh, the rook ending, right? It just cost me 2,600. I think if I win that game, I get to 2,600. And your epic journey, your epic journey reaches an exciting conclusion. Because I know half of you are rooting for me. I mean, I think at least half of you are rooting for me, right? Come on, guys. At least half of you, maybe, maybe one third. Ten out of ten out of fifty. Fourth. Oh, no, none of you guys are rooting me. Uh, none of you guys are rooting for me. Hashtag heartbroken. Oh, uh, wait a check. Is that the right idea? I don't even remember what the right idea is for him. I don't think so. I think he's supposed to castle or take with the knight. That's what I think. This is a strange position, right? Does anybody know what's going on here? I certainly don't. Hmm. Didn't see that coming. To be quite honest with you, I did not see that coming. Not good.
I think I'm just losing this one. So a, uh, a not great finish for me in the last couple games, huh? What's going on now? Did it. He blundered. If he takes, check, and mate. Boom. The plot thickens. Made a comeback. I blow a winning advantage. He blows a winning advantage. It's like we're just two heavyweight fighters trading blows, right? I love when people make that comparison of chess to boxing as if two things could be any more the opposite. <laughs> Although there is chess boxing, right? And that's cool. That's real cool. Uh, we'll play this one. Some strangeness. Some strangeness played in today's games. By me, especially. Not the best moves by me, especially, but, uh, but Population Funtown is where we all have been for the last hour and a half, right? Hour and 15 minutes. Whoa. Should I take there? Or should I take there? I say I take there. Let him keep the bishop. I thought anyway. I thought I'd let him keep the bishop pair. And go after a pawn target of my own. You always sound like a bad guy from a horrible movie when you say, and go after a pawn target of my own. Let's let them have their fun, and we'll go after a pawn target of our own. Let them have their fun, and I'll show you what double pawned attacks are all about. You know, these kind of things. Oh, I want to just go grab that pawn. Is he going to sack and get my dark squares? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he is. He decides he's not. Come back. This is a, such a weird position. Really. I feel like I don't know quite what's going on here. Keep waiting for him to play bishop h6. But he hasn't liked it yet. I'm going to offer a queen trade. Maybe that wasn't the best decision. I don't know. But I'm trying to get equal counterplay. I c4 maybe? I guess we'll go this way. I don't know that I really have any any real winning chances here. <sighs> Do I have any real winning chances here? I have to make a quick decision. I'm going to go for it for fun. I guess. Boom! I did it! I wasn't even focused on the rating, but I did it. Ah, the promised land has been reached. I led you out of the wilderness. Lead us out of the darkness and into the light of 2600, boom. Right? 
It's like ever since Dad died, you've just been trying to find Transformers, right? We've been trying to find Transformers in the backyard. You've been trying to reach 2600. It's like, whoa, like look around yourself, all right, man? Oh, man. I can't believe it. Thanks, Yarosovich. He was committed along with me. Good games. I don't even know what happened in that. I mean, am I winning in this rook ending? I can't be winning, right? Something strange happened. But uh, but what matters is I've reached the promised land of 2600 for the first time in ages. In ages, I tell you. We held a strong... Not, not your Jesus, your Moses, man. Right? <laughs> Isn't, didn't they wander through the desert for a long time? I think they did. Anyway, um, we have been wandering in the desert of 2500 for some time, everybody. I don't even know. I feel like I shouldn't even be playing Bullet anymore. I'm just going to lose my rating points. But okay, that was good stuff. A lot of fun. I thank my opponent for sticking it out with me. We have played one of the most epic Bullet Brawls of all time. A 90-minute, nearly 90-minute scandalous affair. And um, bad news, I'm going to hit you with it right now. Part of the reason I played this epic brawl is because there will be no live Bullet Brawl next week or the week after. Or the week after. No. There will be one the week after that. Yeah. Anyway, there's just a, a lot of busy busy stuff going on right now for Chess.com and for me personally over the summer. My wife's a teacher, so summer vacation is actually a you know a time where it's like truly try to do some different stuff. And, you know, uh, so I'm not going to be doing a live bullet brawl next week. Uh, the next live bullet brawl will not be for at least two weeks, possibly three. So I will pre-record over the next few days before I start traveling again on behalf of Chess Kid and Chess.com, doing some different presents at different chess camps and stuff. But uh, but that's it. That's going to be the uh, the deal. So maybe you'll uh, you'll watch the pre-recorded versions and we'll see if I can maintain 2600. If I can, I will uh, I will certainly come back a happy man in the next live show. If not, hopefully I'm at least in the mid 2550s. For some reason, I'm playing high quality chess. Like literally, I don't understand it. I don't understand what's going on. I think the one second increment makes a big difference against stronger players. But even in in the over the board tournament I played a few weeks ago after teaching a camp in Atlanta, I played well. So I don't know what's going on. Something very strange is happening here. Okay? There's something happening here. Duh, stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Bow, bow, down. <laughs>